In the city of Toronto, physical advertisements are getting out of control. The excess billboards and screens make the city look cluttered and unattractive. With its architectural marvels and many parks, Toronto has the potential to be one of Canada's most beautiful cities, but it is tainted by all these ads. Though there are many other cities with this growing problem, Toronto has some spots that have gone completely overboard. Dundas Square, located in the heart of downtown Toronto, is claimed to be one of Canada's busiest intersections, with over 56 million people passing it to work, play or shop every year. Designed with charming fountains and pillars, it was given the Award of Excellence by the Canadian Architect magazine in 1999, but now its splendor is obstructed by tens of billboards, screens and Canada's first and largest media tower. Let's see what some of Toronto's citizens think of this issue. Do you feel there are too many, too few, or just enough advertisements in Toronto? There are definitely too many advertisements. Look where we are. We're in the heart of downtown. There's advertising everywhere. So right now, I believe there's too much, you know what I mean? All right, first of all, where are you from? Uh, Detroit, Michigan. Looks like too much. In your opinion, do physical advertisements improve or worsen the appearance of our city and why? Well, I don't think they do either. I don't think they necessarily improve it, just because there's so many of them. But some of them are aesthetically pleasing, so they don't necessarily worsen it either. Why? Makes it too cluttered. What do you think about the fact that nearly half of Toronto's billboards are actually illegal? I think that's terrible and that the city should definitely crack down and do something about that. Well, it probably has something to do with money. If it's illegal, they should first, the people who want their advertisement to be put on, they should ask the government if we can. It's kind of messed up. I had no idea. That's actually pretty shocking. What do you think about the amount of advertising here at Dundas Square? It grosses me out, to be quite honest. And I think it's ridiculous that so many tourists come and take pictures of billboards. I think it's honestly too much because we're trying to be like New York right now. We're trying to start being our Times Square, you know what I mean? I guess I like it in a way and I don't like it in a way because it's just too loud. It's costing us way too much money to have these TVs running all day long. You know? Again, cluttered. You got, you got one TV, two TVs, three up there, four or five. You have at least six. I already counted. I started oh, counting. One of the other hotspots for advertisements is a 1.5 kilometer stretch of the Gardner Expressway between Dufferin and Bathurst Streets. While it is illegal to erect any advertisements visible from highways such as the 401, this strip contains over 55 ads directed at drivers. At a speed of 100 kilometers an hour, drivers pass more than one ad per second. Roads with such high speeds can bring about the worst accidents, so it's important for drivers to keep their eyes on the road. But such a high concentration of advertisements and their increasing flamboyance add a very unnecessary distraction to highway driving. Toronto's public transit system, the TTC, had an estimated 480 million riders in 2008. With nearly 300 ads per subway train and even more in and around stations and buses, a significant portion of the Greater Toronto Area have little choice but to put up with them if they want to travel throughout the city. Because advertisements have become an anticipated element of our environment, we have become oblivious to their effects, such as the stress they put on our senses. In January of 2008, the city of Sao Paulo, Brazil, introduced a new law called Cidade Limpa, or the Clean City Law. It eliminates this visual pollution by banning all outdoor signage, from shop window ads to billboards. So there must be something wrong with Toronto's current advertisement regulations, right? Actually, this isn't true. What you probably didn't realize is that every one of the billboards shown in the opening sequence was an illegal one. The good news is that Rami Talbello, creator of IllegalSigns.ca, has been working to find these illegal ads and have them removed since 2007. Here are some examples. This illegal sign from Strategic Media was located at 208 Bloor Street West, across the street from the Royal Ontario Museum. After a May 2006 inspection, Officer Danny Baird determined that the sign was legal by permit number 05-203329. However, the permit he refers to is for a 5 square meter mural sign, whereas Officer Danny Baird investigated a 65 square meter fascia sign. Mural signs are painted on walls while fascia signs are affixed to them, and because the regulations for each are different, strategic media tried to get away with using a cheaper permit for a sign that would require a much more expensive one. This Patterson Media sign at 672 DuPont Street from 2008 exceeded the 10 meter height limit by 8 meters, was less than the minimum 60 meters from a third party ground sign, enroached on railway land without a register and agreement, and was placed on a listed historical building. That makes it illegal on four counts. In 1999, a city building inspector inspected the sign and found nothing wrong with it. 
However, his notes indicate that he inspected a completely different sign, which is located on the west elevation in the parking lot. Whether this mistake was an accident or not is uncertain. So why are illegal ads out of control and what can be done about it? In December of 2008, CBC News published an article claiming that the city needs uniform billboard regulations. It was based on a report by an independent consultant who hit the nail on the head when he suggested that a special unit be created to inspect and enforce sign bylaws. With officers and building inspectors who either don't understand the bylaws or choose to overlook them during inspections, it's not surprising that Toronto has so many illegal ads. Because advertisements bring in a lot of revenue for the city, eliminating them completely like Sao Paulo is financially risky. One solution which helps crack down on the problem while still generating revenue for the city is to find advertising companies for their illegal ads. This would be practical only after all the current illegal advertisements in the city were taken down, but would prevent companies from re-erecting signs on illegal permits. A new city sign bylaw is expected to arrive in 2009, but when will something finally be done about enforcing it? Will we wait until our city's key landmarks are overrun with ads? The Royal Ontario Museum? The CN Tower? The Sky Dome? Oh wait, I mean the Rogers Centre. A Toronto conquered by advertising companies is not such an unrealistic future, so it is imperative to demand better enforcement of the signs bylaw before the problem worsens.